Hi everyone, welcome to Gadgets with Gurman. Today we have a really cool device. What you see right here and in the monitor behind me is the new Nest Thermostat E. Let's zoom right into it and take a closer look. This is the new one right here. You can see it has a plastic shell around it, sort of a polycarbonate to differentiate it from the metal one that uh, I'll show you in a minute. And this gadget has a really low price for the smart home world in terms of smart thermostats. This one comes in at $169, $170. That's the big difference from the metal one that costs $250. And what you can see here is that it has a frosted glass display instead of the color full high resolution LCD display. Let's jump into it. You guys know I love the smart home. I think it's a really fascinating growing category. The Nest thermostat, it injects AI, good design, all sorts of stuff in there. So please send in your questions about this new thermostat. $170, the price and the new design are the big changes there. And let's just jump right into the interface. I want to show you uh, how this works. So for those who are unfamiliar, this Nest, the thermostat E, works very similarly to the full metal version. The difference is the plastic and the screen technology itself. And it's very simple. If you want to adjust the temperature in your home, you just spin the dial and it changes the temperature. And so what this interface right now is telling us is that it's 81 degrees currently. And you can turn the dial if you want to set it to another temperature. So you turn it to 65, it'll set to 65. And you see the until 4.30 p.m. Uh, toggle popped up, and that's telling you that it's going to stay at that temperature until 4.30 p.m. Now, if you set it to a much higher temperature, let's see, higher than 81, I set it to 83, it says it's going to take, let's see, what did it say? Uh, 45 minutes to go to 83 from where we are right now. So that means it's going to take 45 minutes to hit that target temperature of 83 degrees. Now you can keep twisting and turning it to adjust the temperature. It's really cool. Another thing you can do is you can push in and you can go to the main menu and you can choose between different settings. So if you want to move from heat, you can switch to cool and then you click in again. It'll go to cool and we do the same thing here. So like I said a minute ago, we're still at 81 degrees. I want to set it to, let's say, 66 degrees. It's going to hit 66 degrees as the target temperature and then switch to that and last that way till 4.30 p.m. And you don't have to click it again to set at that temperature. You can just twist and turn in order to set the ideal temperature. And if we want to go past 81, 84 degrees, it, it will also last until 4.30 p.m. And if you were in the heat mode, it would tell you how long it would take you to get there. Click the dial again, and you can switch to a setting called heat and cool. There are some homes, depending on the architecture of the AC system and the HVAC system, which is basically uh, the other components that you use to plug in the thermostat, it can tell you, or it can you know, shoot heat into the home or cool, depending on the time of day. And this is a mode, it starts on a timer. And let's zoom out here, and I want to compare it a little bit to the design of the older Nest, because we have a lot of people asking about that. So you can see in the monitor behind me, we have the nest, the plastic nest, and you have the metal nest. And you can see the differences are basically the display. So I want to click this one. And you can see the color to screen. And then I'll click this one. Let's go back to the heating mode so you can compare. And you can see 80, 82 degrees on this one, 70 degrees, that's the temperature settings. And you can see the full high resolution color of this one versus the plastic one. Uh, it doesn't look as good. And because it's a color display, it fades in and out. This one, it uses less energy as well in terms of uh, the color is in the display necessary to make it work. And you can see the discrepancy there. Uh, some questions coming in here. Can you buy this in Europe? And what is the biggest competitor? Is anyone else doing the same thing? So in terms of the launch, it's launching this week in the US. And I'm sure on their website, there is a long list of different countries that you can buy it in. Nest actually has been sort of slow in terms of how fast a rollout has been between countries. I saw some of their gadgets came to the UK and some other European countries recently. But given the price of this, I think this is going to be distributed pretty fast. I think a lot of people are going to want this. And this you know, takes us to our takeaway. For the smart gadget people out there, you know that not all smart home gadgets are necessary. But at $170, given its capabilities and all the AI stuff we're going to get into, I really think this might be the one smart home device you really need if you have a compatible HVAC system. 
in the long run, this thing can save you money because you know you know how much your, your bills go up. Actually, I noticed on my PGE bill in San Francisco here the other day, my bill shot up month over month. It went up from about $30 to $70 month over month, and I didn't realize what happened. It just keeps fluctuating because of the, the billing plan I'm on. But if you have a thermostat like this, it's going to adjust over time in the long run, saving you money. I know a few people who've saved you know hundred, hundreds of dollars over a few year period of someone who's had the Nest for a while. So this thing over time sort of pays for itself. And at $170, that's less of an upfront investment. I also saw, depending on the, the county or the region you're in, there are power companies offering rebates. I saw someone say today that they were able to buy one of these, taking the rebate into account. Obviously, the city or the county or the region will reimburse you later for, I think it was $45 or $50. So there are some good savings in there. And so I sort of look at it as the one smart home gadget that you pay for, but it actually goes to work for you. It does stuff. It's not like one of those outlets where you turn the lights on and off. It's not very essential. Those are sort of convenience types of things. Yes, and to answer a question about smart home, smartphone integration, this is convenient, but it also saves you energy, which actually makes an impact on your home. So it's the one smart home device that could do that. Now, a uh, question coming in here, does it have an app? Yes, it has an app, and the app actually looks quite similar. So I'm going to light these up again. You can see the differences. So the app for the full color version, it looks just like that. It's a replication on the iPhone for that. This, it's replicated. It's a really cool interface. And you can have a home with multiple of these. And so there's different types of apps and sections within the app where you can compare the two and jump into both. Now, for instance, you can be at work, and you want to set the temperature to really cool up the house. You had a long day at work. It was really hot. The air conditioning maybe wasn't working. So you go home, you want it to be 55 degrees when you walk in there. And you can set that all from the app. So when you walk in the door, it's exactly the temperature you want it to be. You can also set schedules, and the AI will you know, know to change the temperature based on where you are. And that brings me to another point. Let's zoom back into the Nest Thermostat E so we can take a look at this eco mode. So let's zoom in here. And now we're in the main menu. And one thing I will note, you can see the similarities here to the click wheel on the iPod. The iPod, if you remember the days of those many years ago, maybe a decade ago, you can spin the click wheel, and then you can press into it to play, pause, go back, play the brick breaker game or whatnot. Tony Fidel, one of the key iPod hardware engineering executives, created Nest before he left last year. And you can see the similarities here. Even the white color is very you know, old school Apple from when Fidel was there. So let's jump into that eco mode I was talking about. You click, you can see the, the, the green uh, leaf right there. It's actually really cool. You click into it, and it takes you to this eco mode. And you can get into a setting here. So it will tell you to adjust the temperature, change the thermostat mode. So you can go into eco mode. Uh, it tell, it's telling us we're in eco mode, right? But in the eco mode, it can show you uh, the different levels here. So it can go between 80 degrees and 50 degrees. And in this mode, it adjusts the temperature on a moving scale between hot and cold in order to be most efficient. So at certain times of the day, when it's not as hot in the home, it won't put the heat up as high, and vice versa. If, it's, if you don't need to actually cool the home down because of the temperature in the area right now, and you can see it's 80 degrees in here right now, and in, in your home, it'll, it'll say, you know, whatever the temperature is there. So it knows uh, to adjust over time. And we have some more questions uh, coming in here. What is the middle mode? The one that says heat and cool. Let's jump back into this middle mode so we can take a look right here. So heat and cool, let's jump back in here. So the way this works is that there's some homes with HVAC systems and AC systems where you can bounce between hot and cold. This will allow you to do that. So you can change the temperature here. So I would, you can press it in to change uh, the heat. So, or I'm on cool, so I want the cool 77. And then press again, change the heat to go to 79 and 81. And it'll bounce between those two. So that's for some homes. Not all homes have that. And a, another key thing to note is that this works with less homes than the uh, regular Nest thermostat. But what I'm told by Nest is that 85% of homes will be able to work with this, while 95% work with the other ones. You'll want to check their website to make sure you're buying the uh, correct one for your home. Now let's go further in the interface here. A lot of people asking. So you have a mode here to turn off the Nest if you just don't want to use it. And the other modes here, we have the eco mode we talked about, bouncing between heat and cool and cool. And you can see it's 80 degrees in here. So honestly, I'm just tempted to want to you know, crank this down all the way to you know, 60. Oh, we'll go to 55. Obviously, it's not set up to our system here. But uh, quite frankly, I wish it was. 
and it's going. If I leave it on there, it's going to start counting. You can see the countdown timer. A minute forty. We'll go down to fifty-five. Click in to go back to the menu here. Same situation with heat. Now we have other options here. We have the fan. So you have, if you have a AC system with a fan, you can click the fan button and then you can turn to set it. So this is setting to start the fan in thirty minutes. And you can see it takes us back to this cool menu. You have the fan icon on the bottom now to know and to indicate to you that the temperature is not only being set to 55 degrees, but the fan will be booting up as well. Let's jump back into the menu here, and you can see there's a gear here to show you the time as well as uh, the the temperature. Now um, there's a let's zoom out here to show a quick comparison. Now you can see uh, between the two right here. It shows you the time and temperature in the settings menu, and it does the same on the Nest, the other Nest. But there's also a feature called Farsight, which, if you're not, if you're sort of walking up to it, it will start to show you the time. And there's some settings. You can jump in here. You can turn that on. But basically, what happens is, is, as you're walking toward it, it can start showing you the weather or the time. This one can't do that. So that's a drawback. But if you need to get the time or the weather, uh, it will tell you based on that menu if you jump into there. And then you can see it took us back to let us know uh, the heat or the, the fan is starting along with cooling. Let's jump back in here so you can see there's a settings panel. Uh, you can go through the different settings. So you can set your fan schedule. You can set it through here. It's sort of intuitive. It's sort of like you know on the Apple Watch where you can use the digital crown to scroll through the different things. And let's zoom in here to take a closer look on the thermostat E. You can see him sort of scrolling through, and that's what makes the dial really good for this type of product. It's actually a pretty neat interface. Uh, I've always really in, I liked it. It's very similar, like I said, to the click wheel, which is unsurprising. Uh, other settings here. Let's go back, take some, look at some more. Uh, you can look at your energy history. You can lock it so people can't use it. You can set your overall schedule for the device. Uh, you can do your eco settings that you can also do uh, from that other um, the other feature in the main menu. All sorts of stuff. Uh, reminders, wake display, so you can set it when you pass by. You can know to turn the screen automatically. Lots of cool functionality in here. You can turn off the sound uh, to be able to you know it makes a sound. I don't know if you can hear it when you're twisting the dial. You can also turn that off. You can set up the mobile app. You can connect to Wi-Fi right from this device. Change the location, the language, the date and time. Um, some other settings here, technical info, legal info. So you have a full settings menu here. And I know some people might not love going through the settings menus, but when I check out a new product, the first thing I do is I dive into settings because it tells you so much about the product and its capabilities. So let's go back here and uh, zoom out because we have some more questions coming in. So do you have to be in the house to use the app or you can be far away? The example I always like to give because we're here in California, you can have this in your home in California, but you can control it from your vacation in Australia. So you can be anywhere in the world, use the phone over Wi-Fi, and it'll connect. You don't have to be in the same place. Other question coming in here, other color options. That's a very good question. So the $250 metal model comes in several different colors for, to be exact, this is sort of a copper, reddish, goldish color. There's a silver color. There's a darker black color option. This one, this white one, only comes in white. So it's a white plastic. Personally, I think it would look really good in black plastic, but this is what they got. It matches their Nest IQ 4K camera we had on the show several weeks ago. Other questions coming in here. What are the negatives you found? The one negative I will say, and this does not only apply to the thermostat E, but it applies to the product more generally, there is a very slight learning curve when you're first setting up the device in order to learn how to navigate the interface. It's not, you know, it's not the simplest interface in the world, but after using it for 20 minutes or so, you'll jump right into it and you'll really know how, to, how it works and you'll get a feel for it. So it's very quick to learn, easy to learn. Um, and I, I feel like it's as simple as it can get for its functionality, but that is one little drawback. It'll take you a few minutes to learn how to use it. Uh, another question coming in here, does this have an impact on your heating bill? So the eco feature and the AI where it learns about your home to adjust the temperature on the fly. And let's jump back, back into here and let's zoom in a little bit while we're talking about this so I can show the, the heating mode. And I'll go back to that as we're zooming in. So you can see twisting the dial. So it's at 83 degrees right now in here. And you can set it manually to whatever temperature you want while the fan is going. 
And with the AI and the Nest Eco feature, it'll be able to sense the environment around you and it'll be able to change the temperature on the fly. So if you're not home for several hours, and I'll know this based on uh, the sensor in here, and this is actually a little sensor area at the bottom, a sort of a proximity sensor to know if you're walking by it. You can know if you're home. It can use the GPS in your phone through the Nest app if you have that option on and installed. It can know if you're home or not, geofencing and all that. So it'll know to turn it off when you leave the house or turn on when you walk in. It also knows the temperature around you. It knows the overall weather of the environment. It knows what to do using AI and all sorts of other features that this uh, product has. And let's zoom back out here to keep taking questions. And so like to, to give a definitive answer on that, yes, it could theoretically lower your heating bill because it's adjusting based on the fly. What if you forget to turn it off? And another thing is if you somehow want to leave it on, you can adjust it from your phone. You won't have to have any of those times where you want to run back home to turn off your heat because you know the heating bill is going to shoot up if you forgot to turn it off while you're on a vacation. So combined with the AI and the app, there's a few ways to likely save or theoretically save on your heating and cooling bills. More questions coming in here. Can I change your set temperature based on floor, like bedroom floor versus living room? So if you're controlling it from the device itself, you're controlling that particular device. So if you want to have one of these on your, you know, on your ground floor, your basement, your second floor, your attic, you probably would want to have one of these in each of those rooms. You could also have one system to control, to control your entire house. That basically comes down to the construction of your home, the HVAC system, the way you have your AC, your heating system set up. So it's going to be on a case-by-case -case basis but I feel like most people, certainly for me, I'm going to have one of these to control my entire home. Other homes, I know they have separate air and heating systems. They have separate cooling systems and heating systems for different floors. Sort of sometimes has to do with if you're in a condo, an apartment, how many bedrooms it has, if it's a larger home or a smaller home. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of case-by-case -case basis depending on you know, how fast the audience listening to this is. But through the app, you can control all through the app. You have sort of a, a scrolling system where you can jump through the different nests you have in your home. Another question coming in here, does this work for both Android and iOS? That's a very good question. So this is fully compatible with Android and iOS. The app, it's the same exact app, is available on both the Apple and Google platforms. Now, other questions coming in, and this is one that even when we have episodes that have nothing to do with Nest, nothing to do with the smart home, I still get a few of these, and I get these on Twitter all the time. When is Nest going to get HomeKit support? And more questions coming in. Does this Nest thermostat E have HomeKit support? The answer is no. So Nest and Apple have obviously been talking about ways to integrate HomeKit support for these products, and it seems they haven't come to any conclusion on that yet. This doesn't have HomeKit support. I'm not sure when it's coming, but we know they've been in talks. There's been lots of reports on that. So we'll see. The benefits of HomeKit support is basically to be able to use HomeKit, the app, the Home app on your iOS devices to control the temperature. But if you control it through the Nest app itself, it really does not make that big of a difference. Where this does come into play is if you want to use Siri or the upcoming HomePod or your Apple TV, the voice mechanism with the Siri remote in order to control your temperature on the device. So it's not going to work with the HomePod likely when that comes out in December. It doesn't work with Siri on your iPhone right now or the Home app. But if you're in the Google ecosystem, you're using Amazon Alexa, you're using Google Assistant, their voice speaker products, the Google Home, or the Amazon Echoes, you'll be able to control it with your voice through those products. So this was a look at the Nest Thermostat E. Please continue to send in your questions about this product, other things going on. The Apple event was announced today. It's going to be held at the Steve Jobs Theater at the Apple Park campus, September 12th at 10 AM. Make sure to check out all of our coverage on that. We also have a story about this Nest Thermostat E if you're looking for more details on Bloomberg.com slash technology. I'm Mark Gurman. Thank you so much.